This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's hard to believe that I'm holding, you know, probably the most important document about the flight. In the secret archives of Leonardo da Vinci's mind, past the flying machines and anatomical drawings, lies a single sketch that was never meant to be understood. Alignment accuracy that is really, really difficult to do, and I'm not even sure on what kind of printer this happens. This design is considered his most forbidden creation, a concept so dangerous for its time, he buried it in cryptic notes. For centuries, it remained a mystery. But now, an advanced AI has pierced through the veil of time, scanning the fragile page and reconstructing the impossible. The machine it found isn't just an invention, it's a revelation that changes our entire understanding of the past and the mind of the world's greatest genius. The Phantom in the Codex. Many people are crazy about Leonardo da Vinci. They see him as the ultimate Renaissance man, a painter of divine skill, the mind behind the Mona Lisa's smile and the drama of the Last Supper. But not all things are what they seem. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that painting was just a fraction of his genius. Da Vinci was an obsessive note-taker. He left behind more than 13,000 pages of notes and drawings, a chaotic collection of brilliance filled with designs for war machines, flying contraptions, and incredibly detailed studies of the human body. For centuries, these notebooks, known as codices, have been a treasure map for historians. But one sketch, buried deep within the pages of the Codex Madrid, dated around 1493, was different. It was an outlier, an enigma that didn't quite fit. At first glance, it looks like the guts of a complex clock. There are interlocking wheels, gears, and levers, all sketched with da Vinci's signature precision. For years, scholars who stumbled upon it were baffled. It didn't seem to have a practical purpose, and some dismissed it as just another one of Leonardo's thought experiments, a doodle from a restless mind. But a few experts weren't so sure. They saw something more in the arrangement of 13 specific wheels, each with teeth that seemed designed to interact in a very particular sequence. It was a pattern, a logic hiding in plain sight. They noticed the wheels were marked with numbers, from 0 to 9. This wasn't for telling time. This was for counting. The arrangement was eerily similar to the mechanical calculators that would be invented over a century later. This is where the story takes a sharp turn into the unbelievable. The accepted history of computing is clear. The first mechanical calculator was invented by a German named Wilhelm Schickard in 1623. Then came Blaise Pascal in 1642 with his famous Pascaline. These were seen as the dawn of the computing age. But da Vinci's drawing from 1493 throws a massive wrench in that timeline. If this sketch was indeed a functional calculator, it would mean Leonardo had conceived of a machine that could perform automatic addition and subtraction 130 years before anyone else. This wasn't just being ahead of your time. This was like finding a jet engine in a horse-drawn carriage. It was a technological leap that simply shouldn't have been possible. The implications are staggering. It forces us to ask, what else did he know? The drawing itself was frustratingly incomplete. Some lines were faint, others were obscured by later notes, or the bleed-through of ink from the other side of the page. It was like trying to read a secret message where half the words have been erased. For centuries, the calculator remained a tantalizing but unprovable theory, a ghost in da Vinci's machine. It was a forbidden piece of history because acknowledging it meant admitting that our neatly organized timeline of innovation was completely wrong. But everything was about to change. Technology had finally caught up to da Vinci's mind, and a powerful new tool was about to be aimed at this 500-year-old secret. But what the scientists found was more than just a blueprint. It was a conspiracy, rebuilding a ghost. To unlock the secrets of a 500-year-old piece of paper, you can't just take a picture of it. The manuscript is incredibly fragile, worth millions, and every speck of ink is precious. You see, scientists needed a way to look inside the paper without touching it. They turned to a technique called multispectral imaging. Think of it like a super camera that can see in wavelengths of light far beyond what the human eye can perceive, from the deepest infrared to the highest ultraviolet. Each type of light interacts with the ink and paper differently, 
revealing things that are otherwise invisible. Faint lines, erased sketches, and hidden layers suddenly pop into view. But even with this powerful vision, the data was a chaotic mess of overlapping lines and faded details. That's where the AI came in. An artificial intelligence was programmed with a single massive task, reconstruct da Vinci's original intent. The AI was trained to recognize Leonardo's unique stroke patterns, the pressure of his pen, and the chemical composition of his ink. It began a painstaking digital restoration, separating lines that were drawn on top of each other and enhancing ink that had faded to almost nothing. The thing nobody tells you about this process is that the AI isn't just cleaning up an image, it's rebuilding a thought process. It can detect where da Vinci hesitated, where he pressed harder to emphasize a gear, and where he made faint guide marks that were later abandoned. The AI digitally peeled back the layers of time, and then the big reveal happened. The AI reconstruction confirmed what the theorists had hoped for, but on a scale they never dared to imagine. It wasn't just a concept, it was a complete, workable design. The AI clarified the gearing system, revealing a sophisticated carryover mechanism. When one wheel completed a full rotation from nine back to zero, a special tooth would engage the next wheel, pushing it forward by one digit. This is the fundamental principle of all mechanical calculators, the same logic that allows a car's odometer to track miles. The scans even uncovered faint, previously unreadable annotations next to the gears, notes about ratios and counting. Da Vinci didn't just draw a pretty picture of a machine. He had worked out the math. It was a fully realized blueprint for a 13-digit adding and subtracting machine. This discovery was a bombshell. It was no longer a debate. The proof was right there, digitally restored in perfect clarity. Da Vinci had designed a functional calculator in the 15th century, but this incredible revelation only opened the door to a much darker question. The man who knew too much. So, the proof is in. Leonardo da Vinci designed a calculator over a century before Schickard and Pascal. This is a massive shift in the history of technology. But it begs a huge question. Why didn't he build it? And why did he keep it a secret? Da Vinci was a known self-promoter who worked for some of the most powerful and wealthy patrons in Europe, like the Sforza family in Milan and the Medici in Florence. A working calculating machine would have been a revolutionary tool for merchants, military engineers and astronomers. It would have brought him even more fame and fortune. Yet there's no record he ever constructed it, or even showed the design to anyone. The thing is, the answer may lie in how da Vinci hid his most sensitive ideas. Many people are crazy about da Vinci's famous mirror writing. He wrote many of his notes backward, from right to left, forcing you to use a mirror to read them. For a long time, historians thought this was just a way to avoid smudging the ink since he was left-handed. But many now believe it was a deliberate method of encryption. It was a simple but effective way to keep his most radical thoughts out of the wrong hands. And a calculating machine in the late 1400s was a very radical idea. You see, at the time, complex mathematics was seen as a divine art, a field reserved for the intellectual elite and the church. A machine that could automate calculation could have been viewed as blasphemous, a mechanical mockery of the power of the human mind, which was considered a gift from God. Think about the world da Vinci lived in. It was a time of immense superstition and brutal punishment for heresy. The infamous Inquisitor Savonarola was burning books and vanities in the public squares of Florence right around the time Leonardo was sketching his machine. The church held immense power, and an invention that could be seen as replacing a God-given intellectual ability might have put Leonardo in serious danger. He wasn't just an inventor, he was a smart survivor. He knew which ideas were safe to share and which were best kept hidden in the mirrored obscurity of his notebooks. The calculator may have been one of his forbidden creations, not because it was evil, but because it was too revolutionary for the world to handle. He may have decided that humanity wasn't ready for it and that the personal risk was simply too great. He designed the future, but then he locked it away. But could there be another even more shocking reason for the secrecy. The Lost Timeline The rediscovery of da Vinci's calculator does more than just add a new chapter to the history of computing. It rips the whole book apart. It proves that a technology can be invented, perfected on paper, 
and then completely lost to time, only to be reinvented over a hundred years later. This isn't just about one man. It's about our entire understanding of progress. It makes you wonder, what else is out there, hidden in faded manuscripts and forgotten archives? Are there other, forbidden inventions that we've missed? The thing is, we have this idea that technological progress is a straight line, a steady march from primitive to advanced. But da Vinci's calculator shows us that it's not. It's a messy, chaotic process, with brilliant leaps forward followed by long periods of stagnation or even regression. Let's bring this down to earth and get into the really wild theories. Are we supposed to believe that one man in a single lifetime invented the calculator, conceptualized the helicopter, designed a diving suit, and made breakthroughs in anatomy that were centuries ahead of their time, all by himself? Or is it possible that he had access to knowledge that has since been lost? This is where the story goes from a historical mystery to a full-blown conspiracy. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that while da Vinci was studying rediscovered ancient texts, some believe those texts were just echoes of a much older, forgotten chapter of human history. We're talking about a lost civilization, a technologically advanced society that existed thousands of years before the Romans or Greeks, one that was wiped out by a great cataclysm. What if da Vinci didn't just find old scrolls, but blueprints from a world that had mastered mechanics, flight, and maybe even computing, long before our recorded history began. In this version of events, he wasn't an inventor. He was an archaeologist of knowledge, piecing together the genius of a world that vanished beneath the waves. But what if the source of his knowledge wasn't from the deep past at all? What if it came from the future, or from somewhere else entirely? This is the theory that truly pushes the boundaries. When you look at the sheer breadth and impossible accuracy of his work, you have to ask, was Leonardo da Vinci communicating with someone? Some have speculated that he was a time traveler, sent back with key concepts to nudge humanity's development along a certain path. Others whisper about extraterrestrial influence, suggesting that his mind was a receiver for ideas being beamed from a non-human intelligence. It sounds crazy, but then you look at his drawings again. You see the flying machines that perfectly mimic modern aircraft. You see the war machines that predict tanks and machine guns. And you see a calculator that predicts the digital age. Is it easier to believe that one man spontaneously conceived of all of this, or that he had a little help? This changes everything. It means that history isn't just a story of what happened. It's a detective story about what we've forgotten. The average person looks at a museum artifact behind glass. But this discovery tells us the real history might be written in the invisible ink between the lines. The AI scan of da Vinci's codex is a wake-up call. Maybe the reason his creations seem forbidden is because their origin is a truth too shocking for mainstream history to accept. We are on the verge of rediscovering a lost world of innovation, and da Vinci's notebooks are the treasure map. So, was da Vinci a lone genius or the keeper of ancient secrets? This discovery proves we know so much less about our past than we think. What other forbidden knowledge is still waiting to be found? Let us know your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more secrets from history.